What is a met ruck? We'll talk about that today. Roll that intro. What's up guys? Welcome to Small Boy and Two Wheels. If it's the first time here, you're welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Today we'll talk about the awesome things that met rugs are and which one was the first one. So if I slow down, or I don't know if you guys can see that, the answer to what a met rug is will be answered really quickly. So that is a met rug. As you can see, the back of it is the back of a regular ruckus. The front of it is the front of a Honda Metropolitan. Uh, I think up until 2006, they had the same front frame. They were just different in the back. And at some point, there was a guy that probably just had a bunch of frames around and uh, just had them and figured it out. Or like they were looking at all the drawings for all the parts and things and whatnots. And yeah, so they noticed that they were probably the same frame. So, and they decided, you know what? I'll keep the front of the mat, take the back of the ruckus. Oh, I'm just filming. <laughs> and and make a brand new machine. It's it's a really cool looking thing. It's definitely more aerodynamic than the ruckus is, just because it has the the shield for your for your legs and everything. But look at that, I mean, it's, it's just such a, I guess, a new take of business in the front party in the back. The Ruck is definitely all about not hooning at the level of the grounds are, but it's all about a nice cruise and being yourself and like customizing something that may look similar to other things, but it's just slightly different. And this particular Met Ruck, is the reason why I ended up going with a sticker bomb frame splitter. You see that it's just sticker bumps all over and it looks amazing. I was talking to Fat Kid and he said that probably has somewhere between like 600 and 700 stickers on it. The back panel, the black and white, is just vinyl that looks like it is uh, sticker bomb, but everything else you put on there and it, it looks amazing. But uh, from what I could tell and asking around, there's one guy that was the originator. It was, uh, for, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in California. And this is his, uh, I guess his tag name over here. But that was, uh, it's, it's an awesome, it's the OG Met Rock. But that wasn't the first Met Rock that I ever saw. So, I don't know if you guys were with uh, TR, Turtle Ruckus. But there's this one Met Rock that I guess was the first one that I ever saw and from what Paki was saying is what made him fall in love with a Met Rock and made, me, made him want to actually build one. And it was Gretchen. So I'll post a picture of Gretchen up here. Uh, I think the guy lives somewhere around the Dallas area, which I think is where uh, Fat Kid, uh, around that area, he lives off of Fort Worth. So it's pretty close to where he lives. But the guy has a pretty awesome looking Met Rock. Like you see from the pictures, it's, if you look at it, it's something completely different because you, you have the original part up front that, that is, I guess, what people would call like a, a regular boring scooter, but in the back it's got that ruckus oomph. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to go about like explaining it. It just, it just looks so awesome. And I hope to, in the future, my daughter loves them, so she's She's four years old, so I hope in the future build one for her because she just thinks they're the funnest thing ever. All these cars passing up will probably be on the left side, on the right side. Let's go this way. Let's keep going straight. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get in contact with the guy, the OG builder of the Met Rock to see if we can get some more information on like how he came to it. Like I'm sure a lot of the information was on TR but all of that has been lost and uh, I would like to just be able to I guess show you guys that because it's incredibly interesting. Like if, if you wouldn't have taken all the plastics off of that, that moped to begin with you wouldn't have realized that it was the same front frame 
uh, if you didn't search it on the parts list like you wouldn't have seen that it was the same front frame so I just want to know how the idea was born and I mean like what people were thinking at first like what they said about it but yeah met ruck they're awesome <laughs> Caesar I I really wish you could have been able to come here um ride with us taking part of those pictures at the Viet Cong, Viet Cong Buddhist temple so one of the things that is very popular along I guess the the Honda Ruckus and some of the Met forums and just in general is stretching them and you, like I have a stretch on my Ruckus, back has got a stretch on his Met Ruck pretty much everybody at some point has some sort of stretch on their Ruckus or their Met and there is oh, Roadkill. There is one person that I know that built their mat rock without stretching it. And at first I was like, you know what, like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I know that Happy Pancake, if anybody can pull this off, we call it this, like, all his builds, like, they're amazing, they're fast, like, he's got a beautiful kid on his um, mat, and he can probably go faster than I can on my GY6. So this guy is this amount of knowledge and uh, like I didn't think I was gonna like it but I didn't really doubt him because of all his knowledge he's got he's he's a resourceful dude and it's actually really cool looking so it's a little higher than than fat kids just because it's not stretched uh, it is a little lower but it's it just looks so good like I'll post a picture up here and I think he's gonna probably do a beer bo big bore kit on it. I think it still has the original uh, 50cc engine in there. But, <laughs> but yeah, like it's it's just such an awesome take on a Honda scooter. And it's it's really sad now that the Groms have taken over the scene because you don't see them as often. You don't see. I mean, Metrocks definitely don't see them as often but even ruckuses they're they're not as as popular as they once were for obvious reasons i mean you you can cruise on the ruckus you can do fun things and you can do burn ads if you want but you can't do stunts and if you look anything like motorblog related you'll see ground pop up and they're doing wheelies they're doing stoppies they're doing all sorts of cool stuff like like this so it's understandable why people are doing that now, but the the culture that the ruckus scene had with TR was it, it was almost lost, and it's, it's really sad. But it's cool to see every now and then that you still have a Met Ruck here or something else there because it's an awesome little bike. But hopefully I can get uh, in contact with this guy and, and see what all he was thinking, what what shortcomings he had, and if he if he even wants to share that with me. I mean, I know it's been a long, long time since he did that, but maybe he'll be willing to send some pictures. Maybe he has some uh, old school videos or and whatnot. But with that being said, guys, we talk about Med Rocks. Uh, I'll try to go more in depth in another video. But yeah, a Met Rock in, I guess, the, the lamest terms is the front frame of either a Honda Ruckus or a Met, because they're the same. Um, you have the front plastics of the Met, you have the, floor, the full floorboard, or, I mean, it, it, it mostly is just, it just depends on the person's, um, like, what he wants. If he wants a full floorboard or if he just wants to have a more naked look like mine. But... Um, you pretty much have the front plastics of the Met and then everything from I guess here back is just ruckus you still can have the Met engine if you want a lot of people put the Met uh, engine but they put the ruckus swing arm so they can put a, the bigger uh, wheel in the back they offset the motor so they can put a fatty in the back like Becky did uh, uh, and you end up using 
the uh, like everything from the Met. So the harness, um, the ECU, pretty much everything. Because on the Ruckus, it's obviously in the battery box, but that's not a place in the actual Met Ruck. So what ends up happening is you hang the ECU and the battery from, I guess, this cross member. I'll see if I can get, get him to pass out so I can maybe zoom in a little bit on it. Uh, you'll see, be able to see his ECU right below there. Like if you see the peg, you go a little bit over, you'll see the fuel filter and then right next to it is the ECU. And in front of it is the battery. So what up? We got a, a thumbs up from Mr. GTR. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but uh so yeah you, you end up using the harness from the mat so it's all in place and everything and some people mounted there. I know uh, Happy Pancake mounted his ECU and his battery and everything under the seat. He still has a, a man in the box uh, seat frame, just like he, like Fat Kid and I do. So it's lower and everything, but he had he made a little box for underneath it. That's where he keeps all all of his electronic big bulky parts. But in Lemon's terms, that's how you get a Met Rush. And in it's simple, but at some point, this guy had to come up with it. You know, he had to put the two frames together uh, and figure all that stuff out, which is it's a pretty cool idea and a pretty cool thing that he actually did it. But yeah, just got, I guess let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, I guess with a shot of that Met Ruck in my rear and right next to me, we'll close this video out. If you like this type of video guys make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like my content hit that subscribe button and if you don't want to miss anything that i post make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every single time i post something and until next time guys keep causing a ruckus spouse out later